when I first got into cycling in general, it was on a social basis. And then I was introduced to a local racing sort of regime where there was support being provided for people with racing. And um, I just trained with the setup um, prior to my first year of racing in April 2013, I believe it was. Well, it's the, the adrenaline. The adrenaline is certainly addictive. It's a, it's a hook and, you know, you, you train hard and you, you want to win. You want to be the best of the best. The feeling of crossing the line first, there's, there's nothing quite like it. Um, sometimes it takes a, um, a while to actually, <laughs> for it to actually seem like reality, but yeah, there's nothing quite like the adrenaline of racing and it, it's very addictive and I just want to strive to, to succeed really, just to, to be the best I can and, and be the best at racing really. I, I'd say that having all that support there, it's, um, it's pretty overwhelming, um, <clears throat> but as a, as a racing, racing cyclist, that's what you aspire to. It's great to be able to have that platform, to be able to be provided with that, to, to be the best that you can. And it, it, yeah, it's essentially living the dream in a way, yeah, I would say.